Bang! Tail! Ribs! Giblets! I play Red. Uh, he's actually a good person. Uh, we're Bird. But he's kind of a misfit or an outcast on Bird Island. And I think it's because he's red, always, even when he's not angry. It's a very aggressive color. Makes for some misunderstandings. Red, our main character, he had to be appealing and approachable, even though he's a grump and a curmudgeon and a jerk sometimes, but you had to still like this guy. There seems to be a recurring issue here. Anger. I don't think I have an anger issue. I think you got an anger issue. So I play Chuck, the yellow bird. He does everything at a million miles per hour. Everything, we're talking running, flying, talking. I'd done speed reading before, but this was the first time I did speed acting. The coffee budget on this film was enormous. I mean, astronomically high. Apparently somebody didn't get the memo that we like to start on time because you're about two minutes late. Don't let it happen again. Hi, my name is Chuck. I'm sorry we got off on the wrong foot. I like you a lot, I can tell. It was a lot of effort playing Chuck. He's always moving around, bouncing from this thing to that thing, up, down, in, out. Of course, since this is an animated movie, all the action is in my mind. So I'm mentally exhausted all the time. Chuck in the game can speed up, so we kind of took that as the very first characteristic of what would Chuck's personality be like. Drinks on me, guys! And then when Josh came aboard, he helped us develop the character even further. It's Chuck time! In the game, he's a triangle, and we really wanted to hold on to that as a design concept, so everything about Chuck is a triangle. His head feathers and his tail feathers and his beak, he's a, he has quite a long beak, longer than most birds, and we wanted to make sure that because he talks so much that he has a, a wide w range of motion that he can get that, that beak going. What would a mighty eagle battle cry sound like? You know what? I think I got an idea. Maybe something like a... I play Bomb. He's a pretty laid-back, fun-loving guy, but if he gets excited or startled, he blows up, literally explodes. Any little thing can set him off. He's a tough guy to make microwave popcorn around. Danny McBride is the perfect person to play Bomb. He just brings the right kind of goofy, yet lovable sensibility to Bomb. Let's do it! Bomb, in some ways, he's like the high school jock. On the surface of it, he appears very relaxed, but he actually has an anxiety problem. He Surprise! Ah, <laughs> uh, excuse me. Party foul. And this is Terrence. Whew. More like terrifying. Terrence is always a crowd favorite. Yeah, nobody knows what Terrence is capable of. It's the air of mystery about him. We actually thought, is this guy going to be scary, you know, like, because he groans and he doesn't really articulate a lot? As we developed the character, we saw he can all of a sudden appear where he wants to appear, and he surprises you constantly. <laughs> Our idea in casting the role of Terrence was to find one of the greatest actors in the world, but not give him any lines of dialogue. Sean Penn had never done a voice in a CG animated movie before. And he came in and created such a fantastic, lovable personality for Terrence. I did not know you felt that way. You go to Sean Penn and say, would you groan for three hours for us? And you don't know what you're going to get. But he was all in. He was he, totally he was committed.